Hi, this is an introduction to the electronics I use in the coil gun that appears on some of my videos. Up here is the power input. I use a 12 volt lead acid battery that connects to this screw terminal. The 12 volts is then dropped to 5 volts with this regulator circuit. It's a standard 7805 regulator with some bypass capacitors and a Gino diode in the input for protection. I also added these two indicator LEDs that tell if the power is applied to the board or not. This IC here is the main logic device. It's a microcontroller Atmel Atmega 16. It's not the best choice for this application. If I did this again, I would probably use Atmega 328 or similar. All you need really is the AD input, some general purpose I.O. lines. The hardware PVM is quite nice. I added some extra headers here, just in case I want to connect something to the AD lines. This is the programming header. And here's one more extra header, just in case I want to use some I2C peripherals. Down here is the control for the two LEDs that I have in the user interface. They could be driven straight from the Atmega outputs. But I prefer not drawing too much current from the microcontroller. Up here is a more interesting part of the circuit. It's the charging circuit for the capacitors. When the device is charging, the microcontroller will use this FET to pull this relay. This relay connects the battery to the switching mode circuit. It's a very basic step-up converter topology, which is working in non-continuous mode. You can either use the PCB coil or connect an external coil. I'm using an external coil for faster charging times. This is the main FET for the charging circuit. It's driven by the PVM output of the microcontroller and there's a driver in between them. It's a good idea to use these drivers because they give more current than the microcontroller output and they use a higher voltage than the 5 volts for the microcontroller. The higher output voltage will allow the FET channel to open completely. These series resistors here make up a voltage divider that provides a feedback to the microcontroller. It's connected to an AD line that tells if the capacitors are charged or not. There's also a capacitor for noise reduction. These diodes here are Gino diodes. They are rated for 100 volts, so they will clamp the output voltage to 400 volts. They are only used if there's a logic failure and the charging circuit is trying to charge the device to more than 400 volts. The last diode here is a flyback diode that protects the electronics from the flyback effect of the main coil. This driver here is used for the SCR drive. It's a good idea to use one because if you drive it with too little current, you will probably burn the thyristor. These connectors here are connected to the buttons that are in the user interface. One is for the trigger in the handle and one is for the charging toggle. This is by no means the best circuit you could use for a coil gun, but it's something we got working back in the day. I only made little improvements here, adding these drivers and some FETs and some extra protection and bypassing. 
If you have any comments or suggestions for improvements or whatever, please post them. I might as well show you the PCB. It's a basic two layer board with some ground and power planes. Nothing very special about it. Most of the through hole components and the connectors are here on the top side, and the SMD components are on the bottom side. 